I'm Matthias Lundin. Uh, I'm from Lumito. And Lumito is a medtech company uh, within diagnostics, a digital pathology company. It, is, it has its background from the university here in Lund, from the famous department of physics. We are uh, providing uh, or, or making digital images based on up-converting nanoparticles, so laser and nanoparticles in combination on tissue. That's what we do. And the product development is now finished, so the product is there. And now we are in the compliance testing phase before the CE mark. A little bit of background. The company was founded in 2010. But the current journey that we are pursuing really started late 2017, where the actual product development started. And then we've been pursuing that for the years uh, in the past, and, and here we are now with the final, final um, uh, product. Over the past two to three years, we've been um, uh, doing a lot of studies proof of concept, external pre-studies and internal studies um, with pathologists and researchers um, in Sweden. Uh, and, and now lately, uh, we also finalized the very first uh, study together uh, with a, a research group in UK uh, within renal uh, diagnosis, uh, renal biopsies. With promising um, results uh, there as well. The, the very last, uh, or, or the latest, I would say, um, milestone that we passed was manufacturing of the reagents that, that um, we need in order to complete our product. So our um, pro production partner, Unigen in Finland, they finalized the manufacturing of the commercial version of the, the reagent just a couple of weeks ago. So what about the product and some more details around it? Yeah, it is about a digital image, uh, a very contrastful and precise image. Uh, and in order to get that, we are using a scanner with LED light, bright field light and laser. And we also have to the left here, to the left, yeah, uh, nanoparticle uh, in those bottles, in that, that small bottle that you are applying on the tissue sample. And then you put it into the scanner and, and making uh, the, the images, uh, uh, very, very precise images. The product advantages that we have is from the, from the left providing a high contrast and granular images more than, than you, you can find uh, currently in the market. The physics around the technology uh, avoids completely autofluorescence. And this is a, a well-known challenge within um, um, diagnosis and analysis of, of tissue using, uh, using IH, uh, IHC. The product has a very low detection threshold. So meaning that if there is anything positive linked to the biomarker, uh, it, it will be detected uh, with, with, with the technology. Finally, uh, to the far right, we are able to combine the bright field, traditional way of looking at images, combining with the new way, the unique way, uh, Lumito uh, through the UCNP, the up-converted nanoparticle technique. Uh, we are able to combine those two technologies. Here you're having an example, it's a breast, breast cancer uh, tissue. It's labeled with DAB, so um, immunohistochemistry, that, that's the brown part, which is the biomarker HER2. And in combination there, uh, the, the green dots that you see 
It's a progesterone as a PR labeling, and that's the UCMP. So we are able to combine these two, two um, worlds, uh, the, the traditional way of showing it and then showing in combination. So this is a multiplexing using chromogens and the, the UCMP uh, marker. The market that we are addressing, that we are entering, uh, is the market of tissue diagnostics. And it's a huge market. It corresponds to 5.3 billion US dollars annually. It has a projected growth for the next four years on 7%. And it's mainly driven by the global aging population. Within tissue diagnostics market, you have an area called digital pathology, and that's the area where we are entering. That has a projection uh, of, of stronger growth. Uh, in the next four years, it's pro uh, projected to grow 13%. The players in this market, the leaders within tissue diagnostics, um, are Roche Diagnostics, Leica Biosystems, part of Danaher Group, and uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific. And we've been selecting so the research market as the first entrance, and then the clinical histopathology market as the, as the second uh, entrance. If we're then cooking it down to the more immediate market to be addressed, which is the European research market. Uh, and it's a, it's a decent volume on almost 350 million US dollars. And that's the market where we are, um, um, will launch our, our very first pro product. Uh, and the customers here, um, is, uh, the largest part is um, uh, pharmaceutical companies. It's uh, contract research organizations. And it's uh, also academia and forensic labs that it's, it's um, um, adding up to, to this volume. Our solution fits perfectly well into the standard workflow in IHC. So, so you, they don't have to change anything. So it's just following the procedure that are used in laboratories across the globe, which is very convenient uh, and good, uh, I have to say. We protect ourselves and the technology that's been invented here in Lund through three uh, patent families, and we are covering the, 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 the key markets that we believe are, are important. Uh, in addition to that, we are filing uh, more patent applications, and, and this is a way that you know, this is a, um, a work that we continuously um, do. The mission that we have is to become a, a global leader within digital pathology and constantly come up with new solu solutions for the future. Uh, so innovation and be a, a step ahead of the game is very important for us. What we do currently with the, the current portfolio is to provide a digital pathology solution, including an IHC uh, kit. And, and we would like to do that to help laboratories to free up resources, getting more information from each and every slide, and increasing precision. Being more precise is good, and minimizing thereby uh, human errors. We aim for um, global reach, but are selling direct in the, in the near, near, near market like Sweden and Scandinavia. Innovation is important in our core technology, UCMP, and image analysis. We have selected to have a scalable production to outsource the production. So in short, what do we do? We are aiming to get the CMR in place and launch, of course. That's the most important thing. We are already now pre-selling the solution, and we are maintaining contacts with the global leaders for future collaborations. In the long term, after 
We have a foothold in Europe. We are aiming to go across the Atlantic to North America and to US, which is the largest um, research organization uh, in, in the uh, research market in the world. Finally, we would also like to offer our fine technology to patients across the globe through a clinical uh, um, product as well. So, as a summary, the, the product that we, we, we provide uh, is giving recurring revenues. So for each sample you need our particles. We are riding the digitization trend uh, in healthcare. Uh, and we are fitting very well into that unstoppable train, uh, I would say. Low barriers to profitability, a very lean organization, outsourcing everything that is not core to us. And we have a smart and unique technology, which is in many aspects superior than current technology. And by that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you, Matthias. We have a couple of questions for you okay. here. Great. Um, but yeah, go ahead and have some water. Yeah. Uh, one, <laughs> let's start with the CE marking process, which yes. is taking longer than, than expected and hoped Correct. for, of course. Uh, yeah. Why? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think um, one of the things is that the, um, the, um, there were parts in the um, compliance testing uh, when it comes to functional, um, uh, functional uh, safety uh, that, that had to be, um, to be further in depth uh, de dealt with. And, and that's what, what's been uh, occupying us over summer and up to now, I have to say. So now the instrument is back at NEMCO in Germany again to, to look at, at the, the updates that we, we had to do. Uh, so, so now they are actually checking that. So I would say the, the, the functional safety part within uh, the compliance testing was, was the key driver for us to, to, um, to prolong the, um, the, the journey. But you don't have an exact timeline for when this will yeah, be? You know, yeah, we have an exact time, timeline with, um, with the stakeholders. Uh, Nemco is one and Optronic, which is our our producer and, and ourselves. Uh, so, so the timeline is now um, um, slightly into next year. Um, so that's what, what the timeline looks like uh, currently. Right. Yeah. Let me see if there are any questions from the room. No, we will keep going with the uh, app questions then. Okay. Uh, we have some questions on the technology. Uh, if you could give some examples in what user cases do you see that your technology really stands out? Yeah, I, I would say when when there are applications or tissue and and, and situations where autofluorescence real autofluorescence really is a, an issue, uh, then then we can completely uh, mark that off uh, because the physics of the wavelength of of, of the technology, uh, so so it's 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 really only showing. The, the glowing nanoparticles and not the tissue uh, around uh, the, the area. And is this also an alternative to uh, molecular diagnostic testing? No. no. <laughs> Short answer, very yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Let's return to some money questions. Uh, what yeah. is the cost of your technology compared with existing techno technologies? Um, I would say very, very similar when it comes to, to scanners uh, and so on. So, so more or less ballpark um, in comparing uh, scanners. Uh, when, it, when it comes to the reagents, I think, I think we, we in some aspects will be cheaper uh, and compared to very simple stuff that doesn't provide you the, the, the value that we do. Uh, it, it will be more expensive, but, but it's, it's a value pricing we are looking for, really, uh, to be honest, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Matthias. Absolutely, thank you very much. Thank you.